Okay. That's counsel to those who are the poor. He says, buy from him gold refined in fire that you may be rich. Who has gold with them? Let's say, gold plated jewelries. I'm not gonna hold up you. <laughs> I'm not gonna take it from you, but who has a gold plated jewelry? So what? Who has a gold with them? You're, not, you're afraid to show it to me. I said, I'm not gonna take it away from you. But he says, buy from me gold refining fire. What does it mean? In 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 7, if gold has been refined in fire, so is without faith. And so without faith. What he was trying to say is, let your heart be refined in tests and trials, and you will be truly rich in my eyes. Amen. 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 Sorry to mention about Sister, I'm not going to mention the name. She said her husband was accusing her that her child is uh, her husband is not the dad of her child, and she said something about uh, hope you will die today. Uh, Ensure him first. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, he come. She came to a point that she was so annoyed. She was fed up. Until she cursed her husband. But she repented of it. What I'm trying to say is, if we don't come to such a point, we can really say that our hearts has been refined. Are you following me? Yes. I, one more illustration. There are lots of boyfriends or girlfriends when they got into marriage. They got married after a couple of years, especially when they got children. This will betray. Do you know why? Am I talking to somebody here? Or am I talking to myself? Do I, do I still have to ask questions or I should never mind? Okay, I'm just joking. They feel betrayed because the one they got married is not the same by, by the personality they have before. Okay? Okay, uh, let's say for example, you're the one in front of me. Let's say for example, Sarah has a boyfriend and she feels and she thinks and she, she, she looks at his, her boyfriend as a perfect man. Handsome, <laughs> kind, gentle, Industrious, rich, <laughs> rich, <laughs> and some. Oh, she got everything. When she married her husband, after five years, when they got three children, the kind and the handsome always get mad. Do you know why? Why? No more money? <laughs> Who told you no more money? Why? Because the test or the trials, the stress, will make manifest the true character of our hearts. Amen. 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 Before they are dating, not married yet, they are dating, they are in courtship, they've got all of their kindness. They will, they will, they will make manifest the best attitude and the best character in the world. But after having stress and problems, the true character of their hearts will be made manifest. That's true. Yes. Don't remind me, please.
of the Lord. That's why He wants us to go test. He wants us to be tried so that our hearts will be refined in His eyes. Amen. Amen. What He was trying to say is, if you've been refined, my child, don't worry about it because it is my word so that you could be like me in my righteousness and holiness. Amen? Amen. Shall we go back on it? <laughs> okay. He said as well, aside from buying uh, gold from him, refined gold from him, what buy from me white garments that you may be clothed? Are you clothed or naked? <laughs> huh? What does it look like? Good question. You're really like me. <laughs> but God says, buy from me clothes so that you will not be naked. So even if you are with, with your suit on you, even if you are with your jackets on you, you could be naked in the eyes of God. That's why he said, buy from me white garments so that you will not be naked. Shall we talk about nakedness? Later. <laughs> it is nice, sir. Okay, let me ask Pastor Manny about it. Why did Adam and Eve, hmm, although they knew that they were naked, why was uh, there was no shame on them? They were not ashamed, although they were naked before they, <laughs> they committed sin before God. Why? Okay. I don't think you are pastor money. <laughs> okay. Okay. Psalm chapter 8 verse 5. For you have made him a little lower than the angels and you have crowned him with glory and honor. The reason Adam and Eve was not ashamed because crown, the word crown here means wrap around. They were wrapped around by the glory of God. Are you following me? Amen. Romans chapter 3 verse 23 For all have seen and fallen short of the glory of God. So the glory that used to wrap around them was falling short. That's why they noticed that they are naked. One man answered me, he said, the reason why they're not ashamed because there were nobody around. <laughs> Aside from Adam and Eve and God, they're the only people living on earth. Makes sense. <laughs> if you're at home and nobody is with you, even if you, you have finished shower, you don't even mind sometimes putting, putting your, or wrapping yourselves with your towel. Anyway, nobody, nobody cares, nobody's around. So if nobody is around, although you are naked, you would be ashamed. But the reason why they are not ashamed is they have been wrapped around by the glory of God. But after they sin, we fall in short of that glory. That's why in Revelation chapter 19 verse 8, And to her it was granted to be arrayed in fine linen, clean and bright, for the fine linen is the righteous acts of the saints. So God wanted us to buy from Him gold refined in fire and He wanted us to buy white garments. 